Okay, so there are several ways that you can do this. Um, you know, it's all up to your personal preference. Here, I, I think that there, a way that you could make your hair look nice would just be to take not all, not all at all, just a little bit from the front, and just go ahead and tie that up. And then, with that tied, we can go from there and actually, um, you know, just leave it loose. You don't want to, don't bun it or anything. And then from there, you can just take the rest and just move it around a little bit. And you can actually tie it into, oh, this is stow math. I thought this was stow fab. Mm. Uh, Hit, hit, hit the intro. Do, 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 it's good to see you. Fresh year, fresh. We can call it the new season of STEM math. Um, let me get. All right. Okay. So now this is looking more like STEM math. So I hope everybody's doing good. Welcome to the new school year. Um, this is exciting. I know things are a little bit different. I know they're a little bit crazy, but welcome. Um, we're gonna have fun. Um, so. What we're talking about today for Math 7, this is our first unit for Math 7, we're going to be talking about something called scale drawings. Now, I'm not going to say I'm sure you've heard of that before, because whenever I say I'm sure you've heard of something before, I was like, hey, crazy man, I've never heard of that. And I'm like, oh, please don't hurt me, I'm sorry. So I'm not going to say that, but what I am going to say is you, you, you may have heard of that before. That's usually a safe estimate for um, anything. So let's say that you may have heard of scale drawings before. You may have heard of a scale before. Uh, not just the one you step on, the one I step on and says, hey, get off, get off, you know. <laughs> but um, you may have heard of a scale drawing before. But think, think of it this way, okay? Actually, look at your screen right now, okay? If you think that I fit on your screen in real life, you're wrong. The, the view that you're getting of me actually right now on your screen would be considered a scale a scale drawing. I know it's not a drawing, but it's a scale. It's to scale of me. Um, movies, things like that, that, those are scales, right? I'm being multiplied by something to make me that size on your screen. Um, so scale, if I was to define it, would be like this, a scale drawing. So a scale drawing is the... And you're going to hear me say this all unit long. Same shape, different size. Same shape, different size. Same shape, different size. Same shape, different size. So when you're asked in class tomorrow or anytime soon, hey, hey, you in the back. Hey, hey, what's the scale drawing? Uh, 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 same shape, different size. Hey, you watched the video. I hope you liked and subscribed. No, but in all seriousness, same shape, different size. Okay, that is a scale drawing. It's, it's the same, like me on your screen right now. I am the same. Nothing's changed. This cheek isn't way out here. I'm not missing teeth. Like I'm, I, I look like I look right now. Okay, so I'm the same shape, but I am a different size. You know, I'm not Ant-Man. I'm not that small. Okay, so more definition would be the dimensions of the object are all multiplied by the same scale factor. So scale factor is going to be a term we're going to be using soon. but um, like within the next couple of days, you'll get an act, actually another video on scale factor. This is just our intro to scale drawings, okay? But the big other key word here is multiplied. Generally, when we see a scale drawing or something, and the the scale is smaller, like you, like me right now, I'm smaller than real life. You'd say, oh, he was divided or subtracted. We're always multiplying with scale factor. Don't forget that we are always multiplying with scale factor. OK, so we're multiplying by something. So what would I have to multiply something by? And we're getting into scale factors a little bit here. That's the next video, but just a little intro. <laughs> what would I have to multiply something by? 
to make it smaller? What type of a number when multiply would make something smaller? Hey, I heard you back there, you know, but I'm sorry, it's not a donut. Oh, I heard you. No, sorry. Sorry, sorry. It's not, it's not, it's not a car. Yes. By something less than one, greater than zero, but less than one. We like to call those fractions. <laughs> or it could be a decimal, but a fraction. So if something's half the size, you're not dividing by a half. Technically, you're dividing by two, but you're, we always want to be multiplying, so you're multiplying by a half, okay? So I'm going to show you a few examples. So let's say that my original is this smiley face right here. That is the OG smiley. So let me go ahead and see if I can write that. That is the O. G smiley. So the OG smiley is right here. That's the original. So everything else should be based off of that. So remember our qualifications are same shape, different size. So right away, as I'm looking here, that's a star. That's a different shape. That is not a scale drawing. This has a, a, a frown face. It's not the same as the original. Not a scale drawing. Okay. This is, is it's like the same shape. It's not perfect, okay? There are sketches. But we're going to say it's the same shape. And it's a different size. So this would work. That's a scale drawing. This one, however, has been um, stretched. The same thing hasn't happened to the whole smiley, right? They just took the smiley and just stretched him up. So unfortunately, this is not the same shape anymore. It's more ovalish. So that is not, it's hard to draw X's while looking at the camera. The same, that is not a scale drawing. Down here, he just got smaller, but he is a scale drawing. Same shape, different size. This guy was stretched to the side. It's no longer the same shape. So there on this whole drawing, the only thing we had the same was the bigger one and the smaller one. This was stretched, stretched, not the same shape as a frown, not the same shape because it was a star. Okay, now let's show you this with some numbers. So let's call, let's pretend that this is the original rectangle, four inches by two inches, okay? This would be a scale drawing of that. How did I go from four to two? I heard subtracted by two, I hear you, but remember our original definition. I hear divided by two. Again, I hear you, but remember our original definition. We're multiplying. So what would we multiply four by to get to two? We will multiply by one half. Well, in order for this to truly be a scale drawing, we better be able to multiply the other sides by one half and get the resulting uh, dimension as well. So two times one half is one. Okay, so that works. Now let's check the bottom here. How would we go from four to six? We could add by two, but remember what we're doing here. We're multiplying. If you don't know how to figure this out, then we need to do a little math. And again, this is really, 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 really jumping ahead into our scale factor video, which we'll do more practice. But we know that four times some value X, we don't know the value, has to equal six. Okay? So what we're going to do is whenever a number is touching a variable, that's multiplication. Four times something is X. So how would I find out what that is? We were going to have to divide both sides by 4. Okay? Divide both sides by 4. So x is going to be equal to 6 fourths, which simplifies to 3 halves, which is the same as 1 and 1 half. So what are we multiplying this by before to get to 6? 1 and a half, or 3 halves. Well, that better be true to go from 2 to 3. So 2 times 3 halves better equal 3. Okay? 2 times 3 is 6, divided by 2 is 3. So yes, scale drawing, scale drawing. If that, what I just did, confused you, don't worry. We're going to go over this in a future video, like within the next couple of days, okay? All I wanted you to see was what scale drawings look like with numbers, okay? So remember, a scale drawing is the same shape, different size. Same shape, different size. Okay. Um, I hope this helped. I hope it did 
more to help than to confuse. If you get confused about the scale factors part, I can't stress enough, it's coming, all right? That was just, it's hard to really show you scale drawings without dipping our feet in the scale factors. So we took that dip, but that's all it was, was a dip, <laughs> okay? All right, so with that being said, if you like this video, leave it a like. If you have questions, ask me, leave comments. Um, you know, you always will. You can always subscribe, ring the bell. Oh my gosh. This is the new season of Stud Math. We're going to have it all year. It's going to be great. And so, yeah, somebody hit the outro. Do, 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 Alright, so back to the hair in the front that we want to have.